Hey there guys, it's delta here with a tutorial on how to install the GLSL Shaders mod for Minecraft 1.8. The first thing before we begin, if your computer is unable to run unmodded Minecraft at about 50 or 60 frames per second, then you may not have very much success with the Shaders mod, so just keep that in mind after you install it. So now into the tutorial, the first thing you want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher. And once that opens up using any profile, click the edit profile button. And under use version, select release 1.8 and click save profile. Then click play. And this will download a version of Minecraft 1.8 for the shaders mod to use. And once you reach the main menu, click quit game. Now open up your web browser and go to the shaders mod form thread and that is linked in the description, and find the for Minecraft 1.8 section. Click the link for the download of Minecraft 1.8 shaders, and then find the download link. It will bring you to an ad fly page and wait for the skip ad button to appear in the top right, and then click skip ad. Then it will bring you to a Dropbox page and you want to click the blue download button and save it on your desktop. Now go ahead and go to your desktop and right click the shaders mod installer that you just downloaded. Click open with Java platform SE binary and then click OK. When it prompts you if you'd like to install in your Minecraft directory, click yes and then read the license and click OK. Then it should say that everything is installed and you want to click OK once more. Now if we go ahead and open up our Minecraft launcher, once it loads up, make sure the 1.8 shaders mod profile is selected and click play. Once it reaches the main menu. If you go ahead and go into a single player world and you press the F3 button, you will see that it says the shaders mod is installed. Now without a shader pack, it doesn't look much different than default Minecraft. So we're going to go ahead and install a shader pack. For the sake of this tutorial, I will be installing the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders, but if you would like to install a different shader pack, you may do so. And also, you should be aware that not every shader pack works with every computer. So if it doesn't work, then I suggest trying a different shader pack. But anyway, you want to save and quit and then quit the game and close the Minecraft launcher. Then you can go ahead and go into your web browser and navigate to the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders form thread which is linked in the description and find the download section which is pretty far down and you want to find the downloads and latest section and we're going to download the SUSE version 10.1 standard edition it'll bring you to an ad fly page and wait five seconds for the skip ad button to appear in the top right and then click skip ad agree to the license agreement and then you want to click the blue download button and save it on your desktop. Navigate to your desktop and press the Windows key and the R key on your keyboard and type percent %APPDATA% percent and click OK. Navigate to your .minecraft folder and your shader packs folder and drag the SUSE shaders folder into the shader packs folder. Then you can close that window and go ahead and open up your Minecraft launcher and let's test to make sure that it works. Make sure the shaders mod profile is selected and click play. Once it loads up, we are going to go into a single player world. And then press escape, go to options shaders and select the shader pack and then click done and done and back to game and you can see that we have the shader pack running 
shaders is installed. Everything is working fine. So yes, that is it for this tutorial, but if you did have any trouble, make sure to leave a comment and describe what the problem you are having is. If you did find this helpful, a like and a share would be greatly appreciated. And if you could also follow me on Twitter, like the Facebook fan page, and follow me on Google+, those links are down in the description below. And if you are new to the channel and you do enjoy gaming, tutorials, and reviews, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.